Welcome back to number nine, Mystic Tarot. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, it's a pleasure. So, um, let's just get right into it, right? There's a lot of upset people, but also shocked people, right? They're upset by the fact that you are not being, um, deterred. They're upset that it's not easy to take you down. They're upset about your strength, your tenacity. These people are upset, um, basically mainly about your willpower, the willpower you have to go to get through situations, situations that they feel as though if they was going through, they would fail or commit suicide, what they want you to do, right? So, <clears throat> these people have bit off more than they could chew in some type of situation or another. Um, these are people that you can't even conceive doing certain things because I wouldn't say you're naive. You just, you know, you just couldn't conceive it because you've never, you've never seen them with a candle. You've never even heard them talk about spiritual things. So you're like, it's no way this person does this or does spell work on me or does voodoo dolls or whatever, right? But they do. Oh, to the contrary, but they do. And that's what they, they feed off. The fact that you wouldn't think that they have anything to do with it or they don't do anything like that. They feed off of you and they stay around you constantly hidden. They stay around you cloaked. I have not looked at this yet. It went down upside down. They stay around you cloaked. Look, how funny is this at the bottom of the deck? Identity theft. Identity. They stay around you cloaked. You don't know who they, this person is. Somebody could be trying to steal your identity as well. But this person, these people stay around you cloaked. You don't know their identities. So, these people are, like I said, they bit off more than they can chew. They owe. They have to pay up. They, they, they owe something to you. They need to pay up. And it's no longer a want to destroy you. It's a necessity because their life, their well-being, their family, their children depend on your downfall, on your death. We have, I hate that you don't react to my childish antics anymore. See, this person, they're, they're upset that you have elevated. They're, they don't like it. They're like, what the fuck? They're like... It's no, they like, this person is not getting worse. They're looking and they're like, they're like, oh, shit, I need a refund. I need a refund on my money. Somebody need to give my money back. Like, this is what, they, this is what they're thinking about the spell work because they're like, it's clearly not working. At first, they thought it was working a little bit, but then out of nowhere, you begin to elevate and you didn't, <laughs> you didn't slow down. You continue to elevate at that, 313. You didn't slow down. You continue to um, step out of your comfort zone. And these people are upset about that. Because first of all, they pay big money for your head. But they owe someone your head. So they pay big money for your head, but they owe somebody else your head that they made a deal with. They demons they owe. So... They hate it. They hate that you don't respond anymore. They hate that you, you're not even bothered. Like, you're not even bothered at all. These people out there running around, drinking. And don't get me wrong. Life is life. Of course, we all drink sometimes. We all go to parties sometimes. We have a good time. It's life. You know what I mean? This isn't that. This is people who had the audacity to talk about you, talk shit about you, and all they do is run around, drink, run the streets. I don't like that I just felt like somebody was behind me. Um, monitoring spirits. Be careful on monitoring. Mon monitoring spirits. They just came up monitoring. We have anybody want to buy a heart? It, it, it seems like you're heartless because that's how much you don't care. You don't care. You don't feel it. You don't care about these people anymore. For, for, for you do not care. And this is what they don't get. They're still working. They're working hard. They're trying. They're doing their best. We have love. Anybody want to buy a heart? 
because you no longer have the same love you have for this person or these people 505. No longer. Or this person never had really truly had any love for you. They were always jealous all along. Right? You could have got an abortion. This person could have wanted you to get an abortion. We have exposed sexual orientation. And you own that house. So there's some house that you own here. Right? So anyway, um, it may feel like you aborted this. This person may feel like you aborted them. Anybody want to buy a heart? Somebody could be upset that you have an abortion, that you had got an abortion. It's like you aborted the love that you had for this person, like, or these people, 555. Five, five. It's like you cut it off. And it's not saying that you don't feel for these people, but you no longer, like, you know what love is now. And you're no longer just giving your love. It's like you stop giving love to this person. You know what I mean? You stop. We have Uranus, so it could have been unexpected. You know, Uranus is about unexpected. So you could have unexpectedly, unexpectedly stopped talking to this person, stop giving love to this person, stop feeding into this person. You know what I mean? Expectedly with Uranus, which caused some type of upheaval for this person. <clears throat> we have fame here. We have Ganesh. I'll share the Ganesh. Yeah, you could have been being guided to abort mission. I'm hearing abort, abort, 644. You could have been pregnant by this person. And you could have been being guided to get an abortion because you would have had a little demon from spawn, demon spawn from hell, if you would have had a baby with this person. Ganesh could also be saying things coming your way. This is why these people be hating though. Because these people are the type of people who go see psychics, get readings on you, find out your destiny, and then be mad about your destiny. Mercury, communication. They get communication about your destiny, about your work life with the uh, number 15, 5, and 1 being 6, 6 houses, work, what you do for work. They go find out your work life, get communication 717 about your work life, about what you're going to do. And these people tell you, oh, yeah, she's going to be a famous, she's going to be a famous um speaker. She's going to go around the world and talk to people. Oh, she's going to be a famous um, healer. Witchy vibes, mercury energy. She's she's yeah, she's that energy where she's gonna create her own herbal tea. She's gonna have this, she's gonna have that. These these readers be telling these people this and, and it boy does it anger these people, right? It angers them. So what do they do? They start doing black magic, they start throwing hexes, they start doing curses, you know what I mean? Get away from your environment, it's draining. Hold on, hold on. And then we have Jesus. I shaded Jesus and Ganesh for coming out for us. They're saying, get away from your environment. It's draining. These people are draining emotionally, physically, mentally. They're always trying to drain you. Even the little things they say in the conversation, they're hoping it sparks some type of negative thought in your mind. It could, the conversation could completely not be about you. But they're going to say something that they hope sparks some type of problem in your mind. We have, you're the reason they're getting karma. At the bottom of the deck, we have sage, clear your energy. Because they sending all that negative energy away. And it's the reason, you the reason they're getting karma from all this that they did here, right? They could have they could have been heartless and like tried to talk you into getting an abortion or something like that as well, right? Look, spiritual career, tart, reiki, shaman. I told you. They, they went, they go find out. This is where, oh, she's going to be a famous tarot reader. Oh, she's going to be a famous shaman. She's going to be this. She's going to be that, right? These people peering into your life, right? To see what's to come, what's coming in for you. Wow, they're... They're at home having orgies, uh, STDs, sex with men. Devil vibe, addiction, drugs. That's another thing. You, as this, um, as this, so you definitely have a spiritual career, but you, as this medium energy, shaman energy, you pick, you picked up on this person's energy. Like, you just felt like something, it was something more to this person. Like, yeah, you felt like it was something more. You see what's behind it. The chosen one. You're the chosen one. 
That's why you're the chosen one. You have this spiritual career. These people could be lying, saying that you go around having an orgy, sleeping on sleeping around with people, getting a bunch of abortions all the time, things like that. They could just be making up a bunch of rumors about you. And even if it is true, I seen cousin go by. We have Krishna. We got Krishna, Jesus, and Ganesha. We have them showing up. I shaded them. We love you guys. Look, snake. They're trying to tell us about it's a snake in my boots. Right? It's a snake in your boot. They're trying to they're trying to tell us about these snakes in our boots, right? Watch your kids around them. We have a grandmother that's secretly jealous, it says. And then we have dreams do come true. See, these people are upset and they're jealous with you because your dreams are coming true and they see it happening right in front of them while they're around here going to the doctors, finding out they have STDs or um, finding out that their partner is sleeping around with everybody, 11-11, or um, being left behind by these partners, getting evicted. We have self-preservation. The protection of oneself from harm or death, especially regarded as a basic instinct, human, human beings and animals. See? Protect yourself. Watch yourself. We have pure soul, childlike innocence. And then we have a Libra. So you could be some Libra, someone in your chart. This could be a Libra involved in a situation where you need to preserve yourself from or keep your energy from this person. They could be watching you on the internet. Wow, look, once you're dead. This could be a Libra that once you're dead, they're in too deep. Like, a, I don't know if I said that. These people are in too deep. They want you dead because they're in too deep. They don't want it coming out what they've been doing, where they've been, who they've been with, who they've been sleeping with, the secrets they be hiding. They don't want it to come out. Anything else, Spirit, before we move on into the turn? Suicide. See, that's that's a part of it. They wanted you to commit suicide. They were hoping you commit suicide. But most importantly, these are these people. This is the energy that they're in. We have an aunt. This could be an aunt. The aunt could have wanted you to commit suicide. You could be an aunt. I don't know. Um, an aunt could want to commit suicide. I hope not. Or she could be in that space because she could have been one doing like magic land. So these people out here want to commit suicide. All types of shit. We have, they got exposed for how they make a living. See, these people are getting exposed for how they make a living. We got snake coming out again. They're out here getting exposed for how they make a living. Probably snaking people, lying to people, robbing people, stealing people money. And now people see this person for who they really are. Wow. Gave her pay. 13, 13. And they found out somebody sleep with men. Well, run, they want to suck you dry. Spiritual teacher slash judge. Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You feel me? Your spiritual teacher, your spiritual judge. Okay, this is it. I'm taking these. We have out of town. This could be somebody that's out of town. We have making bad choices because of alcohol, drugs. So this person could be on alcohol, drugs, out here thinking some negative thoughts with cast down thoughts of poverty behind there. We have Venus. We could be a V. So that's Taurus, Libra energy. We have more Libra energy here, Empress energy. We have the most high. Power, the most high power, and then we have it's a girl. So <clears throat> Venus is Taurus, Libra energy about um mothers. It's about um divine feminine energy. I feel like this is saying you have the power of the most high, like of of course you're not as powerful as the most high, but you're like you, this is like and out of all these people, you have the most high power. Like, out of all these people, you, the most high directly gives you the power. Like, you have power from the most high. You're divine. Like, no cap. You're divine. You have power from the most high. So, we're going to pick these up. Somebody could be already saying, you always, she always getting abortions. She do this. Like, trying to tell you a little personal business out there in the street. You feel me? So let's get into this. So let's 
telling you, they, they in too deep. These people are way in too deep. They bit off more than they can chew. It is no longer a want you dead. It's a necessity to have you dead. Or the the uh, the demons will be back to collect. Deals were made. Deals are sealed. No, it's no way out of these deals here. So we have blue Terra, number 17. Off with their heads, I'm hearing. We have number 20, Chinamasta. 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 One of those Chinamasta. And then we have, look, look at that skull. 21, Bradley Dogani. At the bottom of the deck, we have number 28, Gaia Kali. Okay, so we're going to read a little bit from the books. Just a little bit, because them uh, the pages are fairly long. If it's one thing I don't like, my hands being dry on paper. Especially not this book. So... You're, you're this um, energy, you're, you're divine, fam. You're full of life. You're abundant. You're infinite. Your spirit's infinite. It's been here many a times. You're damn near a, um, you're damn near a demon slayer. These people did not know who they was fucking with. And I'm, I, I really, I'm here on the Lotus, but they didn't know who they were fucking with when they, when they stepped to you because you seem so pleasant and nice and it's like, um, you forgive people a lot. You accept people back for a lot. So, these people didn't understand. They didn't know how destructive you really could be. Even though they go around talking about you and how you're angry and you're this and you're that and you destroy things. And da -da 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 -da. They don't believe that them damn selves. They don't believe that them damn selves. They actually think you're too damn nice. You know what I mean? So, number 17. Let's get into this. So number 17 says, Blue Terror, sweet mother of peace, now bestows her gifts of clarity, peace, and the power to overcome any negative condition. Just as the beautiful lotus grows from muddy waters, so too shall you arise from confusion, difficult circumstances, and heavy energies into sacred blossoming. If you feel held back or slowed down by your circumstances, remember that your soul has the ability to process all experiences and become stronger, not weaker. Through doing so, the, the oracle indicates healing and a positive prediction for a peaceful future. First of all, it says... If you feel held back or slowed down by your circumstances, remember that your soul has the ability to process all experiences and become stronger, not weaker. They thought that the more they did to you, the more they talked about you, the more they stole from you, the more they uh, broke things of yours, the more they fought you, the more they um, sent negative people your way, the more they did black magic. They thought that that would make you weaker until eventually you committed suicide or something. Who knows? No, but what they didn't understand was that made you stronger. Stronger. You these skulls are the experiences that you fucking slayed. Cause you're the, you're the fucking demon slayer out here. But they ain't know. They ain't know. So they want me to clarify that before moving on to the next one. Clarify blue terror for a spirit. They, they don't even know that they done turned you into a beast out here. Ending, the back of the deck ending with this, they done turned you into a beast. Number 28. And if you don't know, now you know. They don't know. Look. They thought that by trying to put these burdens on you with the ten of wands that it would make you weaker not knowing that those ten wands that you carried only made you stronger literally transformed you into who you are today the queen of swords not taking no shit from nobody 
quick to cut a motherfucker off. You don't want to hear no gossip. You don't want to hear nothing. You're not off it. You're not beat for childish antics. You feel me? They done turned you into your your um a no to a non tolerant person person, but also just and fair. All they did was push you more towards your purpose. Come on now. The lovers. This could have been a lover of yours that was doing this. Trying to cause these burdens or family members that were trying to block you here with the lovers by using magic with the magicians with the magician here. Could have been a partner of a lover here that they married. Look, and then there's the son. They ain't know. Feel me? Krishna, Jesus, Ganesh, y'all ain't tell them. Come on, man. Y'all know better. They said they won. So for number 20, China Master. Sacred severance is her radical grace. She is our soul's power to shed and survive, to outgrow and evolve. When the soul needs to separate itself from that on which it which it once relied, be it a view of ourselves or the world, or a group or a belief system that cannot support the truth of the heart, she is the capacity, sovereignty, and courage. Requ she has the capacity, sovereignty, and courage required for self-liberation. You had it. You had it.